Arab Shabbat Shalom, everyone. It's so great to have you with us. Looking forward to another wonderful service. And we are going to begin with words of Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elyon. Mi melech malachi hamlachim hakadosh baruchu. Boachem shalom malachi hashalom malachi yehelion. Mi melech malachi hamlachim hakadosh baruchu. Parachoni le shalom, alachay ha shalom, alachay elion. Mihi melech, malachay ha mlachim akadosh barofu. Seitchem le shalom, alachay ha shalom, alachay elion. Mihi melech. Continuing with words of Lachun Aranana, which means, Come, let us sing to the Lord. Naria, Naria, the Tori Shenu, Nikadma Fana Vitoda. Naria, Naria, the Tori Shenu, Bismiro Naria Lo, Lehuneran in a Lehuneran in a Lehuneran in a Ladonai, Lehuneran in a Lehuneran in a Lehuneran in a Ladonai. Now, the end of Psalm number 99. Lots of people love this melody. Words of Romimu. Romimu Adonai Eloheinu v'hishtachavu leharek tosho. Romimu Adonai Eloheinu v'hishtachavu leharek tosho. Ki, ki, ki kadosh Adonai Eloheinu Romimu. Ki, ki, ki kadosh Adonai Eloheinu Romimu, iyararararai Romimu Adonai Eloheinu, vihishtachavu leharekot shoho. Lecha dhoti, likrat kala, likrat kala, pinei shabat, nihikabela, nihikabela. Shamar vizachor bidibor echad, kishmian el hameyuchad. Adonai echad ushma echad, l'shay multiferet vilitila lecha dodihi. Likrat kala, likrat kala, p'nei shabbat, nikavila, nikavila. Likrat Shabbat lechu v'nelcha ki mekor habracha. Merosh mi kedem nisucha sof ma'asei b'mach Shabbat tichila tichila lecha dodihi. Likrat kala, likrat kala p'nei Shabbat nehekabela, nehekabela. Bohi the shalom ateret bala gam bisimcha huv tzola toch emune amesigula bohi chala bohi chala lecha dodihi likrat kala likrat kala pene shabbat nekabela. This time we take a deep breath as we usher in the spirit of Shabbat and we meditate on the beautiful psalm of gratitude, psalm number 92, selected specifically for Shabbat. And we're going to sing the words 
of Mizmar Shir Liyom HaShabbat. Mizmar, Mizmar Shir, Shir Liyom HaShabbat. Mizmar, Mizmar Shir, Shir Liyom HaShabbat. Mizmar, Mizmar Shir, Shir Liyom HaShabbat. I sing a, sing a song, sing the song of Shabbat. Sing a song, sing the song of Shabbat, sing the song, sing the song of Shabbat. Let's continue on our own, either with the Hebrew or the English for just a couple of moments, and then we'll pick up on the bottom of the page. So... Because <laughs> Di shenim vrananim yihu leha ki ashar adonai suri velo habla tabo. Let's turn now to words of Ahavat Olam. Ahavat Olam Beit Yisrael Amcha Ahavat Atoro Mitzvot Chukim Mishpatim Otanu Limadita. With everlasting love, you have loved the house of Israel, teaching us your Torah, its mitzvot, laws, and judgments. Therefore, when we lie down and when we rise up, we shall speak of your commandments and rejoice forever in your Torah and in your mitzvot. Words of Shema Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Evi Ahavet Ha'et, Adonai Elohecha, Bechol Vavacha, Bechol Nafshecha, Bechol Meodecha, Veha Yehu, Adavarim Ha'ele. Asher nochim et zavecha, hayahom alvavecha, vishinan etam levanecha, vidibarta bom, vishivtecha, vetecha, vlechtecha, vaderech, ubshoch becha, kumecha, ubshar tam laot, al yadecha, vahayula totafot, bene necha, uchtav tam, al mizuzot betecha, uvisharecha. It is written in the book of Exodus. The children of Israel shall observe the Sabbath, maintaining it throughout their generations as an everlasting covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel for all time. In six days, the Lord made heaven and earth. And on the seventh day, the Lord ceased this work and rested. Israel <laughs> At this time, we're going to take a moment to um, say the prayers of our own hearts, and uh, then we'll come back together.
I hiulera tson im rei fi ve hegioni bin lefanecha adonai tsuri ve goali. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. So this week's Torah portion is called Pinchas, and it's named after the uh, famous zealot Pinchas. But there's a story contained in the um, <clears throat> in the Torah portion that I'd like to call your attention to, and that is the Benot Tzlavchad, the daughters of Tzlavchad. Who was Tzlavchad? He was of the tribe of Menashe, and he had passed away. He had no sons, but he did have five daughters. So what happened? At that time, the law stipulated that if someone uh, passed away, the daughters do not get to inherit. So these five women went to Moses and other leaders and to the entire people of Israel to protest this law, which really was unfair. So they go to Moses and Moses appeals to God and says, what should we do? These women have a legitimate argument. What do I do? And God says, from now on, if a man shall die with only daughters, no sons, but only daughters, the daughters will inherit the land. And if you think of it, these women were quite heroic because what they did was they granted a gift to future generations of Jewish women so that they'll be able to inherit after someone dies. So the laws essentially went from women not being able to inherit anything at all and evolved today to women having a much greater role when it comes to inheritance. I think this speaks a great deal about how we should choose our battles. These women were not militants. In fact, uh, our sages tell us they were wise, they were pious, and indeed, they chose this battle with very great wisdom. I think we have to ask ourselves a question. How do we choose our battles? When we're confronted with a problem, yes, there are many times we have to fight, but which method do we use to fight? You know, it's as a wise person once said, you got to... Uh, have a brain attached to your fist when you fight. You got to fight with seichel, with common sense. And then, of course, there are times when there are disputes that are simply mired in pettiness. And we should just stay back. We should not engage. If someone calls us a name, for example, um, you know, it's best to just leave that alone. You'll be very happy that you stifled yourself. Believe me. The Talmud tells us, it says, who is wise? The answer, haroe et hanolad, someone who is able to see the outcome in advance. Today, we live in a world of chaos, country that's in turmoil. Why? Because you have many leaders in government who do not choose their battles wisely. They don't ask themselves, you know what? If I choose this battle, will it have a productive outcome? Will it have a good result? What will it mean for future generations? They do not ask themselves those questions. And that's why we have so many problems today. You know, likewise, when you're on uh, social media, sometimes you can have someone post something which is inflammatory, designed to enrage you and to rattle your chain. Also, best not to engage. It's a consummate waste of time because there's no goal. What's the outcome that... You know, you'll have a sharper response uh, than the other person. It really is something that is unproductive. Mark Twain had a great quote. He said, never argue with a fool because onlookers will never be able to tell the difference. And that's so true. Don't let anyone bring you down. It's a big mistake. Choose your battles wisely. Fight battles which are good battles, fight for good causes, but do it strongly, do it with wisdom, with common sense, with a full heart, and make certain that those battles will have a great result and will have a great impact. And ultimately, we should be blessed 
by leaving a significant legacy similar to that of Benot Slavchad, the daughters of Slavchad. Speaking of battles, there are some people who are battling illnesses and we need to uh, pray for them so that they have a refuah shleima. So if you have names, you may mention them at this time. May the Holy One who blessed our ancestors bless all those who are in need of healing with the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. At this time, if you have uh, someone who uh, is deceased, a loved one who is no longer with us, who has passed away recently, or if you are observing Yardside, please mention uh, that name or those names. In the words of Rabbi Morris Adler, our yesterdays are beyond the reach of death when our love transforms them into living influences. Thus, we continue to be guided by a light which transcends time and defies death. We say, Zichronam Livracha, may their memories be for an everlasting blessing. Amen. This time, we are going to uh, do our weekly Lachayim. We are going to recite words of Kiddush. You have wine or grape juice, please feel free to join with me. Let us praise God with this symbol of joy and thank him for the blessings of this past week, for life and strength, for home and love and friendship, for the discipline of our trials and temptations, for the happiness that has come to us out of our labors. Thou hast ennobled us, O God, by the blessings of work, and in love hast sanctified us by Sabbath rest and worship as ordained in the Torah. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath, to be hallowed unto the Lord thy God. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, borei piri hagafen. Amen l'chaim. Before we conclude, I just want to tell you to please feel free to share these videos with uh, those you feel may benefit from having an enlightening Shabbat. And um, please subscribe and ask others to subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave comments, obviously, after Shabbat, not during Shabbat. And uh, please, if you like what you see, please give us a like. And uh, with that, we're going to uh, pray for peace with words of Ose Shalom. Ose Shalom Bim Ramav, Hu Yase Shalom Aleinu, Ve Al Kol Israel, Ve Yimru, Ve Yimru, Amen. Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Ve Al Kol Israel, Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom. Shalom Aleinu V'yalko Yisrael V'imru Amen Adonai Yosli Amal Yitain Adonai Varechet Amal Vashalom May the one who giveth strength unto his people Bless his people with peace Amen Shabbat Shalom I get in Shabbos Good Shabbos Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Hey Shabbat Shalom Hey Shabbat Shalom Shabbat, 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 Shalom.